Every revolutionary medical discovery starts with clinical research, but that research doesn't just happen in hospitals. Emergency medical technicians study new devices and techniques to improve care for patients in urgent need. When the paramedics are called for an emergency, you're having a heart attack or a stroke. There are interventions where minutes matter. Some of the procedures that you can imagine that you would test would be how we do chest compressions or a device that might help us do chest compressions or something that we use to support the airway and provide oxygen to a patient who's not breathing. At the same time, when somebody's heart is in a bad uh, rhythm or has a uh, acute disturbance, a drug might help restore the normal function of the heart. Uh, again, that needs to be done within seconds or minutes, and so there would be both devices that would require testing and drugs that would require testing, and they're only ever used in an emergency. Emergency medicine research is a community partnership, and you can support it in your area. The city of Pittsburgh, for example, has a long tradition of doing emergency care research for decades. So many things have been tried and proven first in Pittsburgh and are now considered standard treatment in ambulances across the country. Some of those procedures pioneered right here in Pittsburgh include CPR. Other advances range from administering medicines to testing new devices like external pacemakers and advanced airway placement tubes. The thing that drives research for me is dissatisfaction that I ever have to say, well, that's all we can do, there's nothing more I can offer. I'm always looking for something more we can offer to people in a bad situation. Learn more about the heroic emergency research being conducted by the University of Pittsburgh and heroic emergency medical technicians. Help yourself and help others by supporting emergency research in our community.